this video, I'm going to talk about how to add data to your Jupyter Notebook. The easiest way to add your data to your Jupyter Notebook is to use the upload user interface. To do this, first navigate to the Jupyter Notebook homepage. Okay, so this is our Jupyter Notebook homepage. First, I'm going to create a folder for my project. I'm going to create this folder on my desktop. So I first select desktop, and here I'm going to add a folder. Let's call this as project one. Okay, now I have my project one. I have my folder here on my desktop. Now let's add a notebook to this folder. So I go here. Now we can add a notebook to this folder. We go to new and select Python notebook. Now here we have our notebook. Let's na name it, rename it as lesson one. So now I have my Python notebook inside my project. Now I'm going to create another folder to keep my data set. I go to new and create a folder. Now inside my project one folder, there's another folder. I'm going to rename this as data. So I'm going to save all my data inside this data folder. Using this upload button, we can upload our data set to this folder. I go inside that folder and using this upload button, now I can I upload my data set to that folder. Here, I want to upload this data set to that folder. So you go, you choose the file that you wish to upload. Here, Titanic is the uh, data file that I want to upload. You may select multiple files if you wish. And then click on this upload button. Okay, now we have our data set inside this data folder. Now we are ready to import our data set to this Jupyter Notebook. You can import your CSV file using pandas. Pandas is a great library for managing relational data sets, the data sets in table format. So let's start by importing pandas. By convention, it is imported with the shorthand uh, PD. So here I have now loaded pandas library. Now we are ready to import our data set. You can import your data set using, CS, uh, using pandas library. So here I'm going to import my data set. That's a comment. And I'm going to import, I'm going to save my data set to an object called df. I'm going to use my pandas library to import this data set. So you first you type pd and then dot. Remember you have autocomplete in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, simply hit the tab key while writing codes that will open a menu with suggestions like this. Now I want to read my CSV file. So I select this function. Okay, so now I have my data set inside a folder called data. So if you go and open this, here you can see, this is your Python notebook. Here's the data set. Inside that I have my Titanic data set. So I have data. And then my, the name of the file is Titanic CSV.
Okay, now you can run the command. Okay, now we have imported our data set. If you want to see the first few observations of your data set, you can use this command df dot, I want to use describe. I want to see the summary statistics of my data set. No, first see the first few rows of your data set. For this, we can use the head function. So here's what the data set looks like. If you want to get the summary statistics, you can use df describe. So here you have the summary statistics of your data set. And you can save all your work using the save button. And you have all those files inside your local machine, inside this folder as well. Okay, so now you know how to link your data set in your local machine um, to your Jupyter notebook. So that's it for this video. Happy learning with Python.